Hello everybody, my name is Lachara, and this is Spellcaster University. Another episode of my Let's Play. This is the second episode where we were in the forest here. Uh, we got some good uh, nature magic being brewed up. We got some decent light magic. We got an arcane room. We got a shadow room. Basically, we have everything except uh, except potions, except alchemy, I guess. Um, so what do we got here? We got Door Between Worlds. Students working here learn Portal and Enchantment Magic 25% faster for a few minutes. When a student is at least level 3 in Elementalism and level 2 in Enchantment, they get an Arcane Crystal Staff. They now learn all Magic 25% faster. That is good, but these those types are not things that we do right now. <laughs> temporal Room. A classroom that allows students to quickly improve their Temporal Magic. Let's grab that. Because we do want to have... Can we put this way out there? Doesn't need to connect, huh? Yeah, we'll put that there, I guess. Uh, both are mediocre. I'll just grab that one. Not unionized. Cheaper. Dolman, stable, greenhouse. I'm actually going to take the stable. I'm not going to upgrade my stable, though. I'm going to build a second one. Just because... Uh, stable offers a lot of animal slots, and I like having animals wandering around. And maybe that's just a, a me thing. Under the King's Protection, I like that. I like getting faction. Oh, the troll is going to wake up. So this is why we want to get some arcane stuff. So that we can put him to sleep and slow him down. Alright, oh wow. Oh, Unicorn Handler already. Because that's what we need for uh, for one of our quests, or tasks, or whatever. And a grave digger. Yeah, let's reroll that. Hero, yeah. And hero's not great either, to be fair. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Normal, poor, they're worker, they're well behaved. I will throw you in your cane house, I guess. But yeah, I need to get the. I mean, I need orcs for a quest, right? Yeah. Unicorn handler. Oh my god, I need 20 unicorn handlers, though. That's good. That's a lot of unicorn handlers. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll have a problem getting the orc and the nature mana uh, quest tasks, whatever you want to call them, done. But 20 unicorn handlers is a lot. I mean, obviously, I got one already, which is good. All right. Marsh Walter lowers the sanity of good students, but teaches necromancy and demonology to bad students. Okay. Botanical active students in this room slightly improve their demonology and portal magic skills, but slowly lose sanity. When a student is at least level 3 in demonology, they get demonic horns. They now deal twice as much damage in combat. Hmm. Yeah, let's take the tentacle. You can put that right there. Alright, so what do we got? We got uh, two new applicants. A bit slow. No traits. Negative or positive. They're poor as well, so I'm just going to pass. Smart, chosen by the light. I do not... No, I do have a lighthouse. So let's put them in the lighthouse. Oh, we can travel. So I'm at 27 with the orcs. I need more, but... That gets us to plus 25, which is nice. I kind of want to do this. Oh, no, never mind. I was going to say I wanted to do this... Um, because I wasn't negative 25, so my students were poor on average, and I didn't like that. But it's gone up, so what are we at here? Uh, let's do Inquisition so we can get up past minus 25, right? So we don't lose that, right? Um, plus 5. Or we lose gold, gain light mana. No, I think I'll just do the plus 5. What do we have here? Roasting box. We can't keep this up, sir. Creating all the homework takes an eternity. Oh, we can draw a coffee machine. Yeah, let's draw a coffee machine. I mean, it costs money, which I don't like. Because we're pretty poor this run. We got a pig chamber. Up to three students can use a pig chamber to communi communicate with the outside world and speed up communication with factions. That's good. I like that. I like the pig chamber. Oh, look at us stacking up over here. Alright, so we'll be able to draw a light card here very soon. What do we got here? New elves. Elves aren't great right now, though. 
Sacred Halo. Yeah, let's just upgrade our Hero's Chapel. Oh, we're starting to get cheese. Starting to get some alchemy components. Chosen by the light. And they're smart. Well, you're going in the lighthouse. Normal, well off, steadfast worker. You can go in the nature house. So I'm going to need a lot of people in the nature house in order to get this 20 unicorn handlers. Right? All right, more cheese. That can be sold for what? Light mana. Cheese is coming in fast. Until we get other alchemy opponents, cheese doesn't really do anything for us. Like, on its own, right? All right, so we can do an Elementalist Sojo. Sign of the Eldest. When a student is at least three in Demonology and level two in Portal Magic, they receive the Sign of the Eldest. Now when they receive a future, the Lord of Evil is repelled by 1%. That is really good. I mean, it's going to be hard to get, though. And this is good because it only needs level 1. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the Arcane Amulet. Time to pay. Magic tax. We have gathered the necessary amount. Nature deck again. Fawn. We already have one Fawn. That's the Wolf's Tooth. When a student is at least level 1 in Beast Magic and Herbalism, they get a Wolf's Tooth. They now move 20% faster. Yeah, let's do that. Because we have Herbalism. We, people, Everybody in the Nature House should get that easily. We got two Applicants. Down to Earth. So less Arcane Mana. So they can go in the Nature House. And this person can go in the Nature House because they're a child of nature. Because those do stack up. So we're at 0 there. Negative 22 there. Negative 7. That's climbing up because of the teacher we have, which is good. We're at 25 there. Alright, so let's just go with orcs. Try to get this up. Yeah, let's just... We can't do any of the special ones, so we'll just do the plus 10. Call it a day. We're not generating much arcane mana. Which is kind of disappointing. What are the people... What are my students that are in the Arcane House doing right now? <laughs> I guess there's only two. Looks like learning Herbalism and Temporal Magic. Okay, so they're not really using the... Looks like they're not using the Arcane Room. They're using this room. Strictly. So we're going to need more of the specific rooms, I guess. I don't know, I find these general rooms, as long as there's an alternative, they don't really use these rooms, in my experience. Alright, War Drum. Active characters in this room lose a bit of tiredness. Pig Chamber. We could upgrade our Pig Chamber. Um, or another Ore Count. Let's go with the War Drum. Oh, we got some applicants. Normal, passionate, jack of all trades worker. You can go in the Arcane House. Oh, Priest. Um, I'm okay with Priest. Ooh, another Unicorn Handler. Perfect. Another Unicorn. All right. Okay. Okay, now I'm less worried about the Unicorn Handler since we're already at 6 of 20. That's actually kind of insane. Active students in this room very slightly improve their assassination and retribution skills. Or, yeah, let's do Weapons Rack. In this room, this room, sure. And we'll put the war drum in this room. Off the back of the wagon, what have you got? Sure. Side of the eldest. I mean, we, we're going to need a demonology room to get any use out of that, but hopefully we can get one. Alright, so we can upgrade our shadow room. We can go with a new house. Or upgrade our refectory. Or build a second refectory. I'm going to go new house. And I'm going to do... I'm going to use it. And then they're going to be shadow and arcane only. They're not allowed to do anything else. Yeah. 
Yeah, all out of nature as well. This is the Arcane Shadow House. Alright, so that'll be specifically to try to get people to get that certain item, right? Alright, so let's get the Chamber of Truth. Some retribution skills. Uh, appropriate, appropriate. Sure. Alright, let's go visit the orcs again. Yeah. Already time. Plus 20. Beautiful. Dumb, but they're well off in their child of nature. You can go in the nature house then. Smart, well behaved, courageous. You can go in Arcane Shadow. Normal, but well off. They're a light sleeper. You can go in the nature house. Need I need lots of unicorn handlers, right? A dungeon for the guild. Where do I want? Ooh, 2,000 gold is a lot. Alright, well, let's try this dungeon. How do I access the dungeons? I assume it's on the map. Got yeah, right here. Would you like to send an expedition to the dungeon? Ooh. Um, hmm. <laughs> I have no idea who to send. Oh, probably you. So I can send, what, four people? Do I drag them? I don't understand. Oh, there we go. Does anybody else have any bonuses? Increased health. So you can go. Alright, so let's probably go with these people who have a lot of skills. Oh, but what do they have? Minus one damage dealt to monsters. Well, that kind of sucks. Alexander. Ursula. Start the adventure. I have no idea how this is going to go. This is my first ever dungeon. Sewers and Saints and are filled with treasures, but also with monsters who have made it their home. You must be careful and watch your step. Forward. A swarm of rats emerges from a pipe, carrying a whole pile of garbage and glittering items. They ignore you and head towards a different pipe. Attack them. Let's follow them. Yuck, better to keep clear. Let's attack them. Start battle. Alright, so I have no idea. Do I got to do anything? It's just automatic. No, it looks automatic. Alright, well that went pretty well. Oh, was that like a heal? Or a buff? Oh wow, that went good. Alright. Everybody's still full. So that gets me, uh, makes me optimistic. The next hallway is extremely dark and you hear the sound of hooves coming towards you. Fast. Let's proceed carefully. So we get... Get two cards, but we got to fight two Dark Knights. It might be Dark Knights. Well, it's the same thing, except they're in lower level, so that seems... Ooh. I'm going to go with this one. Pegasus. Ooh, and there's a rat, too. Ooh, Dark Knights look quite a bit harder than rats. <laughs> so I might take some damage this time. Well, why do you attack the same one? Don't spread it all around. There we go. Or maybe they got to attack what's in front of them, I assume. Well, I still haven't taken any damage. Okay, one Dark Knight down. Perfect. That was a lot of damage. Good job, Joachim. Yeah, let's keep going. A wandering architect. A heavily armed dwarven warrior hails you. As she twirls over her sword, she explains how she's been studying the architecture around here in hopes of becoming a master builder. We need some protection while she takes notes. Killing goblins is quite distracting. Yeah, we'll protect you. Gotta fight some trolls. Yeah, alright, let's go. Wow, that's a lot of health. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Ow. Ow. They're not actually taking damage, I don't think, right? Yeah, I'm not sure what this... Oh, yeah, so... That's like armor, I guess? Alright, so we won again. 
We were barely finished with the trolls when Dwarf has wandered away to admire a flying buttress, which, according to her, is from an ancient gnomish civilization. This is all well and good, except for the nearby group of creatures who don't seem to give a flying buttress about architecture. All right, well, let's fight. This will probably be our last one, though. But we'll see how it goes, I guess. Okay, dead rat. Like, see, we don't... I haven't seemed to take any damage yet, right? Which, which makes me want to just keep pushing ahead. Yeah, so far, so good. All right, the dwarf finishes her scribbling and things super profusely. She hints that what she learned here represents a major leap forward for architecture. She would like to reward you, okay? Actually, your school's in need of renovations. So we get a refractory, two dormitories, two student halls. Or we get four gazebos and an eternity base. Or we get, wow, one of each alchemy room. Hmm. I mean, we're not really looking for alchemy, right? Let's just go with that. We can upgrade all our stuff. Should we keep going? Sure. I have a feeling this is going to be hard. The vast hall is silent and dark. And its alcoves hold graves marked with runic symbols. In the room's center is an altar with offerings. Let's get the offerings. Ooh, level 15. But we get 500 gold. Or even more. Um, Let's go. Let's play a little bit safe here. Is the... Uh, they have 17 armor, so this could go poorly for me. I mean, the rat's going to die. The rat's not a threat. The specters, on the other hand, are a threat. Yeah, I took damage there. And I don't appear to be getting through their armor. So what happens if I die? If I lose, like, do my people actually die? Oh, well, we got through their armor there. Okay, the one on, yeah. No, I think we got this, but I feel like this is probably the end of the line. Did we keep going? I mean, I've gotten a lot of things. All right, one more. One more. Find the lifeless body of four adventurers lying in the middle of the hall. It's hard to tell what happened, but it's clearly involved a few sharp implements. There's nothing we can do. Let's move along. It's sad, but their gold is useless now. Well, let's find some gold. There's so many bloodstains in the area. We could follow them or avoid them. Of course we'll follow them. Yes, let's avoid them. Yeah, let's follow them. A wounded traveling merchant is stuck amid a group of wargs. He's doing his best to keep him to bay, but it's not like it last long. Let's help him. Ooh, 700 gold. Or trade. So we can get gold or items. I don't know what those cards do is the thing. I don't suppose the wargs will eat gold. Oh, so we let him die? I don't want to lose all that faction. Let's go for the gold. All right, let's see what happens here. Watch team has taken damage. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. No, nope, we're taking a bunch of damage. Orgs hit hard, <laughs> apparently. This is our last fight, if we survive. Nope, Sandro died. Damn. All right, as long as we win here, it's okay. Better go back, it's getting too dangerous. We lost one, but we gained 1,300 gold, Pegasus, Refractory, couple dorms, Students Hall, Crypt Card, Ritual Components. Okay, I mean, that went okay, I guess. <laughs> All right, so Students Hall, let's upgrade this one. And upgrade it again, or do we want to build a second one over in here? Yeah, let's build a second one over on the other side. Crypt. Let's build a crypt. Sure. Uh, excellent pedagogy. We'll take you. Dorm. We'll build a second dorm. And we'll upgrade our original dorm. And we'll build a second refractory. And a Pegasus wanders to school and has a chance of making students encounter richer. That seems good. Active teachers in this room have a chance of creating component cards. Also seems good. Uh, let's put it in here, I guess. Here. Yeah, in there. And we got a bunch of gold so we can drop in the deck. 
nature room psychologist that's always good to have village banners nice i like just passively getting faction it's always good so we'll put it in here we can draw again from that deck we can private apartments we already have one we already have a light room we already have lots of dormitories so let's upgrade our private apartments Perfect. All right, that went pretty well. Okay, so we can't do that dungeon again. That was like a one-time thing. Okay, that's fine. It was fun. Something different. Went pretty well, I thought. I mean, I did lose a student, so I guess it didn't go that well. Smart, child of nature. Well, I think you're going in the nature house. Smart, beautiful, popular. You can go in the arcane shadow house. Goes in by the light. Oh, guess what? You're going in the lighthouse. Smart, steadfast, gourmet, claustrophobia, learn shadow magic slower. So you can go in the arcane house. What do we got here? Our kid bothers us much less when he's at your school than when he's at home. We'll make space just for him. He gets a better bed. He might not come see you so often, so private bedroom. I can draw a card, but lose a little bit of natural mana. Nothing we can do. Um, Let's choose a card out of three. Let's go with the canopy bed. I like the canopy bed. Look at that. Yeah, let's put it here in the dorm. Sure, hopefully people use that. It gives us a little extra money. And extra money is always good. Okay. So we're almost, the Lord of Evil is almost halfway. All right, so we got natural deck. We can improve our dolmen. Or a pig chamber or herbalist boards. Active students in this room slightly improve their herbalism skills. We don't need herbalism as much as we need druidism and beast magic, right? So let's just do that. Alright, we can do upgrade a private bedroom, hunting trophy. Active characters in the same room generate prestige. I like that. I like generating prestige. Passively. Jander Lodge. We have one already. Health Risk Waffle Maker. Characters who eat in this room no longer feel hunger for a few minutes, but are more susceptible to loss of health. Or an Assassin's Arena. Let's go with the Assassin's Arena. Right here? Sure. Oh, two excellent pedagogies. Oh, under the King's Wiz protection. I like that. Um... We are almost where we want to be for orcs. We just want, yeah, there, plus 10. All right, troll. Let's put him to sleep. Perfect. Shadow Disciple, normal. You can go in the Arcane Shadow House. A bit slow. They're well off and they're jack of all trades. You can go in the arcane house, normal, they're a werewolf, they're courageous. You can go in the arcane shadow house. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with how things are going here. Relatively. Especially with these tasks. I mean, we almost have two of them done already. We're making good progress towards the other one, I feel. All right, dear head teacher, thank you. The entire teaching team would like to thank you for your support. Teacher's lounge, refectories, private departments. We have everything we need. It's perfect. It's perfectly normal. So we get five prestige points. It's only the start. So we get an extra private departments. Or another coffee machine. I already have a coffee machine. So let's just get some prestige points. Prestige is good. More, more applicants. More good applicants, specifically. Normal, arcane, scholar, allergic to crustaceans. So you're definitely going in your arcane house. Smart, steadfast. I'll put you in arcane shadow. Dumb, but they're diligent. They're well off. Yeah, you can go in the general class. Bit slow, light sleeper. Nah. All right, we got some more graduates. Village mage. You know what? There are some much better futures there. So let's reroll. Adventure, 200 gold. I like that. Another unicorn handler. Perfect. Active spirit is good. 
Google is good. Early on, like the earlier you can get these, the better, right? All right, so we got enough light mana. We can upgrade our Righteous Cloister or White Dragon. White Dragon wanders around the school. Any active student across its pass with learns light magic more effectively for a few minutes. Or the Inquisition banner. Active characters and some improve your reputation with the Inquisition. I do really like uh, passively improving factions. So we're going to do that. I'm a big fan of passively improving factions. See, we just got Kingdom Plus One from him. Spe speaking of the devil. Alright, so what do we want to do next? I kind of want to get the king up. Well, no, let's get the guild. Let's work. Let's, yeah. let's do this so we can have more arcane mana. So I gain 10 but lose 5 with the Lord of Evil. I don't really care about that. Draw the card, weapon, shield, lose gold. Now let's do this. So gain 10. So I did have a penalty to my arcane mana that I, I don't anymore, which is nice. So I can do a second Jander Lodge or improve my Jander Lodge. Or I can upgrade my crypt or child eating bed. Generate an ingredient called Sleeper Soul. Yeah, let's do that. Because we I want to do something with this cheese, right? But we're going to need other ingredients for that. Just cheese doesn't do much on its own. So they're smart. They're a worker. They're only here for three years. Let's put them in the nature house. Bit slow, poor, three years. Uh, we'll pass on you. Dumb, but they're a child of nature. We'll put them in the nature house. Brilliant. Uh, steadfast, comical, unbreakable. You can go in Arcane Shadow. Smart, passionate, heavy sleeper. You can go in the lighthouse. A bit slow, but they're comical. You can go in the arcane house. All right, what do we got out of the nature deck here? We already have one orc hound. Active characters in this room lose a lot of boredom, but also a bit of health. I do I have an infirmary? I think I do. Ooh, man, man, blah, mandragoric root components. Let's do that. And we got enough for the standard deck. So we could upgrade a student's hall, upgrade the arcane room, or upgrade the private bedroom. Or a second private bedroom. Do a second private bedroom, actually. Yeah. I think that was the right play. All I'm saying is I did see hordes of students misbehaving and they're making so much noise that I can't concentrate. It's so annoying. Go back to work and stop bothering me. I would have to have eyes everywhere. So I lose arcane mana, but I draw a card Mystical Eye. Or I can lose prestige points. Now let's do this one. Let's draw the Mystical Eye. Active students in this room feel watched. They behave a bit more and work a bit better. Let's put that in here. Alright, so we got uh, three different materials now. So we can alchemize and get demonic distillation, 200 shadow mana. All right, so the troll, or no, the orc. Oh, yeah, we got enough action with the orcs now. Perfect. All right, so who do we want to visit now? Guild Tavern, see if we can get this bumped up. It'd be nice to get to plus 10%, right? Together, we can fight the Army of Darkness. All right, let's use this shadow mana we just got. Ooh, a prison. We don't have a prison yet. We do. New applicants. How many we got? We have five. Normal. They're well off. They're a light sleeper. You can go in the lighthouse. Shadow disciple. You're going in the arcane shadow house. A bit slow, but they're well off. You can go in general. Chosen by the light. Brilliant. Well off. Definitely welcome aboard. The lighthouse. Child of nature. You can go in the nature house. And they were brilliant on top of that. So that was a pretty good recruiting. Uh, Class, I guess you would say. All right, so we got three things. I don't think these are different than the ones we just had. Filtered power. Oh, 200 arcane mana. Nice. All right, sweet. So oh, elementalist dojo. Or, ooh. See, if we take a sack one of these, 
they only need level two in demonology and one in portal magic. So let's do that. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, nature specialist is done. All right, so two of the two of our three goals are done already. We could get a second Pegasus. Might not be a bad idea. Or the student is at least level four in sacred magic and level three in heroism. That's pretty high. I don't think we're going to get many students there, so let's pass on that. New students have a higher chance of being elves. Ah, let's just do a second Pegasus. And nature deck. We can do another stable. Terrarium. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm thinking another stable. Or permanently improve a teacher. Yeah, no, let's just upgrade a stable. We have two stables already. So let's upgrade one of our stables, I should say. Four applicants this time. A bit slow. No thanks. Smart and well off. Worker well behaved. Uh, you can go in Arcane Shadow. A bit slow. Pass. Smart and well off. You can go in Arcane, I guess. Off the back of the wagon. Uh, we'll take 100 gold in a card. Alright, so now if we take this, they only need to be level 1 in Druidism to get it. That's going to give us a lot of natural mana, right? So that's good. That's a good find right there. This is what we were looking for, Demonic Chamber. Now we can get some Demonology being learned. Appropriate or bad pedagogy. Guess we'll go with appropriate. Obviously. <laughs> kind of a no-brainer. Alright, well, you know what? Things are going pretty well. But I think I'm going to uh, put in a little break here. That'll be all for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter. Join my Discord. And make sure you come back for the next video. Should be good. Probably go right to uh, right to the end in the next one. See how that goes for us. But yeah, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.